Disclaimer, the following video is an accurate description of a disturbing crime in explicit detail. Please, if you are sensitive to disturbing content and or get easily triggered, please do not watch this. Thank you. Drug dealer mowed down and killed much loved grandmother in Hansworth while he was being chased. Mohammed Ishfaq, who had taken a cocktail of drugs and was being pursued by other vehicles following an aborted drugs deal when he lost control of his car and hit and killed a 62-year-old grandmother. A callous drug dealer mowed down and killed a much-loved grandmother after losing control of his car and veering onto the wrong side of a road in Birmingham. Mohammed Ishfaq, who was being pursued by two other cars at the time, drove off from the scene and then got another drug dealer to burn the car and try to take the blame for what he had done. Ishfaq, 34, of Leonard Road, Lozels, who admitted causing the death of Krishna Druk by dangerous driving, was jailed for six years and three months. He was also banned from the road for ten years. Ishfaq had been living with Darren Holness, who were both users and dealers of drugs and he had bought a Vauxhall Zafira about a week before the incident. On the morning of November 9th, 2017, the two men began their preparations to go out and deal from that car. Both had taken the same sort of drugs, a mixture of heroin, crack and mamba, said Mark Haywood, prosecuting at Birmingham Crown Court. He said their intention was to go to Sycamore Road and sell someone some drugs, and when they got there, there was two cars, for whatever reason, there was speculation that they had both been set up and they were going to be robbed and assaulted or worse. Ishfaq then drove off from a car park pursued by the other vehicles. During the chase, over about half a mile through narrow residential streets, he drove aggressively, overtaking and narrowly missing other vehicles. The three cars travelled into Rookery Road, Handsworth, where 62-year-old Krishna Drock was crossing near to a pedestrian crossing. Mrs. Drock was simply crossing the road at a crossing point. She was a much-loved member of a large and close and supportive family. Ishfaq then went to the wrong side of a keep-left bollard and struck the grandmother who was spun in the air like a ragdoll. She suffered a number of injuries, inclu including a depressed wound to the skull and died at the scene. Ishfaq carried on and when he did stop, he and Holness took more drugs together. They then dumped everything that could connect them with the Zafira, which they abandoned before returning to the address they lived at. The defendant later arranged for Holness to move the vehicle to another location, where it was burned. Mr Haywood said Ishfaq also offered Holness money to confess to police that he had been the driver. Holness did this, but later admitted he had been lying, and in 2018 was handed a suspended sentence for admitting a charge of perverting the course of justice. In a statement, Vijay Drock, the victim's son, said, On November the 9th, 2017, our mum was killed in a sudden, brutal and totally senseless hit and run. A loving mother and dedicated wife and inspirational grandmother, a mother figure to her younger brother and sister, her warm, loving and joyful smile lit up the room when she entered it. She was a dedicated wife to her husband. Mum had a distinctive gift of making you feel loved and appreciated. Her death shocked the community and made national and international news in India. In passing sentence, Judge Paul Farah QC said, You were approached by a group of men in two cars and you believed they intended you harm and you drove away. You drove at speed through a busy residential area. This was not one dangerous manoeuvre. It was a chase in which there was a series of dangerous manoeuvres. You failed to stop and immediately began to plan how you could avoid responsibility for your actions. When you discovered that Miss Drock has died, you reacted with callous disregard. The death of Mrs Drock was caused because you involved yourself in drug dealing. Anthony Muller, defending, said he did not believe for one moment that he would be ambushed and chased. Had he not been chased, he would not even have been in Rookery Road, let alone doing 50 to 56 mile an hour. My own final note on this case is that I did look for a fundraiser for this case, but obviously this happened in 2017, so I couldn't actually find anything for that. Um, 
again uh, there's a number of charities that you could donate to i'll link a few in the description i also wanted to say my own word at the end of this video um i've been getting a little bit of hate on uh, i actually share a lot of my videos on facebook uh, and i had someone say that i was trying to obviously ride off of the deaths of these victims which is completely not the case at all I refuse to have sponsors or monetization on these videos as I do not want to earn money. If there are any companies who would be willing to sponsor me, all of that money would be going straight to charity and I would be showing evidence at the end of the video. I just wanted to quickly put that out there because a lot of people have been getting my intentions wrong for these videos. My, my sole intent for these videos is to make people aware of the disturbing cases that are happening in their area you know the area that their children play in the area that you know they have family living in that is the sole intent for these videos and nothing else thank you